It was a mad scene outside the Industria Super Studio in New York. This was a party for the man who has done as much to shape fashion in the 20th century as just about any other designer. Who else could that be but the prolific Karl Lagerfeld? He has an incredible vision of fashion. He always comes up, comes up with new things, and anything he comes up with actually becomes fashionable. It's amazing how he manages to keep something alive and young and fresh without it getting trendy. He's sort of a master at that. He has this ability to sort of, you know, to be a, to be a critic and to be someone who's an instigator. And I think that's, that's great. Most designers, when they do more than one line, it all kind of eventually looks alike. But he's able to focus and do new, exciting things. And also, he moves fashion forward. You would think designing ready-to-wear collections for four separate fashion houses would already have packed Lagerfeld's calendar. But his creative urges are clearly harder to satisfy. Lagerfeld is also a very accomplished photographer, and this exhibition, titled Visage et Paysage, featured over 60 portraits and landscapes. This little Riva camera was my favorite. We took a personalized tour of the exhibit with Lagerfeld himself the afternoon before the party. And this is in, in, in Paris. This is, where, this, is, this is my house in Paris. I like the idea that you can capture one instant forever. I just do it like blind, guild, uh, uh, guided by some interior feeling. Very strange. And I have one vision, and I don't even take a second photo. You just do one shot. I do it one shot. I'm very much against people who do 300 shots. I think we're in a period where people over do that. And then on the end, they don't look anymore, huh? I don't believe in second option. There's one thing I see this way, I don't see it another way. And I don't even try. I don't want to. I can make a mistake, it doesn't bother me. But I have one vision of things, I don't have to do. Snow photos I adore. And you know, snow used to be the normal thing in the northern part of Europe, even in my childhood still. You know, what I like about cameras too, the bad taste of today escapes the camera. And they're all beautiful, I think. Huh? They are the few really beautiful objects left in our time. Huh? I'm mad for cameras. Huh? I could buy a camera every day. And this is what I like about fashion, and this is what I like about photography, and this is what I like about the beauty of the girl and the faces of the girls, because they capture that. Very, they are the icons of beauty for the moment we live now. This is what I like about the girls. Except that I like their personalities and uh, the person of the girls too, because I don't like to work with people I don't like. Huh? If I don't like them, if I don't care for them, I cannot photograph them. Huh? But then I get bored very quickly. Huh? When I met Nadia for the first time, she was totally unknown. Huh? She had little overweight, strange proportions, but I knew the second that this girl would be a big star because she had the little things that make a difference. Huh? Linda, she has something unique like, like Nadia Ossi. I mean, they're, they're unique girls. Huh? What is it about her that keeps her remaining fresh, do you think? Because she is giving herself huh? and she renews herself. Huh? Like she changed the color of her, her, uh, her hair. She, she likes what she's doing. Huh? She loves her job, and she is the girl who never falls into routine or something like that. Huh? She's very professional. Yes, but professional is already, already a word I don't like because you have the feeling she's really giving something, huh? not selling something. That's the difference, you see? There's a difference between giving and selling. Nadia gives, Alex gives, others sell. Lagerfeld's power and influence in the fashion world is immense. One place he has really had a lasting impact is in the world of modeling. Ask any supermodel working today and there's a good chance they'll credit Lagerfeld for giving them their first break. Carl booked me for the Chanel Couture show before I was anybody and he 
I mean, it's a, a moment where everyone sees you, and it's someone that's so powerful, and they're saying, I like this girl, and people respect him, and they respect his opinion. He's very creative. He has so much energy, and he doesn't stop coming up with ideas. And on the, the same time, he has a lot of, a lot of sense of humor. He, he, you know, makes us laugh a lot. Someone asked me what, whom actually discovered you. I say Carl and Peter Lindbergh because those are the two people that booked me. And I did the Chanel campaign, and I was like thinking, wow, how incredible, you know, to m work and meet with Carl. Miss World is telling the story of her life. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Universe. Miss Universe, but Miss World and Miss Universe is the same thing. <laughs> you don't think about in the end that it's something that's important. You think about that it's great to keep up your relationship with the whole clan because they're all really wonderful. You're aware of the impact you've had, though, on fashion in our time. I hate this trend, especially in Europe, to go to homage, their own past the revival of their own collection what they did 30, 40 years ago, who cares? Nobody wants to know that you're in fashion for such a long time. No, no, this, I'm very much against it. I like the moment, I like tomorrow, and I like a vague souvenir, but I don't like retrospective homage and kind of uh, funerals where the people who are buried can go to. This is a man who, like James Brown, or the artist formerly known as Prince, or any great genius, lives in a world of his own creation. And, you know, the more adventurous he becomes, the more creative he becomes, the bigger his check becomes, and the farther he goes. And in terms of being humble, yeah, you know, he knows he has to be humble because he's always taking the next step. He's always taking a risk. And that will keep you humble, and that will keep you on top, and that will make you the best. And I think that Carl is one of the best, and I'm very privileged to have worked with somebody who is really part of history as much as, you know, Christian Dior or, or Charles de Gaulle. Carl will not disappear. Wow, he made it happen. I mean, he just brought back the idea of the Chanel woman wearing real Chanel clothing, not fake, not rip-offs. He doesn't rip off, he creates. What he takes, he might take from the streets, but never from another designer. And he does that for four different collections, as well as taking photographs. The man, simply put, is beyond a wonderful designer, wonderful photographer, wonderful friend. He is a genius. First genius I've ever met.